Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection B, UW12. Different, type number of joints, their joint efficiency, and limitations. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. Now let us talk, what is type number? So now if you see this figure, very simple, two plates we are welding with groove joints, weld it from both sides. Okay. So actually what we are trying to do is to achieve full penetration. We are trying to achieve full penetration while welding this. Okay. It may be category A joint, category B joint, category C or D. Okay. It does not matter. So if I have given this joint, this type number of joint, type number one. And if I'm doing full radiography, then I can have joint efficiency as one. So please remember, we, all the time we just, uh, while doing the calculation in software like PV, like we take joint efficiency one and we don't care what type of joint is given, right? So when we are designing and also making the drawing, we have to remember this. So only if I have this kind of joint and I'm having full radiography of that joint, then only I'll be able to get one as a joint efficiency. Now, this is not the only type which you can have. You know? Now let us code also permits some other configuration for type number one. Now, this is the configuration. I can have a temporary backing strip, but that backing strip has to be removed. That is the reason we are calling it temporary. Okay. It has to be removed after welding. So, by using te uh, temporary backing strip, we can ensure full penetration. Okay. That is what we are trying to achieve. So, if I am having this kind of joint, this is also permitted, and I will be able to get joint efficiency as one if I do full radiograph. Making sense? One is uh, welding from both sides. Second is using temporary backing strip. I can ensure the full penetration. And if I do full radiography, I'll get efficiency as one. Okay. Third configuration, I can have welding from only one side. I can weld the root with T. And that will also become full penetration done, but you need expertise. Okay. Just by doing TIG building, it will not be ensured. You have to do qualification. You have to do the testing and ensure that you have to qualify the welder, qualify the procedure. Then only this becomes you know, a qualified type number one joint. Okay. So you need little expertise in that. So if I am able to achieve it, then I'll get joint efficiency as one okay so this is the type number one only these three are permitted okay no other wells i can do which you will be able to get efficiency as one only these three any of any one of these three you have to follow okay to get efficiency as one now if i have type number two this will be there when you know I'm trying to achieve full penetration, but that per permanent um, backing strip, which I have used, I do not have place to remove it. Joint is becoming unaccessible from the other side. So I'm not able to remove after closing the belt. In that case, if I'm doing full radiography of this joint, I'll be able to get only 0.9 as a efficiency. Even though I might have got full penetration, okay, the, only I'm not able to remove that backing strip. In that case, also code is not permitting us to get joint efficiency as one. Only 0.9 is what we can have. This is type number two. Now there is also limitation. I cannot have all the joints of type number two. If I want to use a backing strip. I need a flat surface. No, I cannot have a surface like this where 
there is no uniform surface so i'm not able to put packing strip properly so if there is welding here this joint cannot be qualified as type number two okay so this is only limitation this is the only limitation for type number two okay great now let us move further type number three what is type number three it's exactly to the similar to third case which we discussed for full penetration here we are not doing tig welding okay so actually this joint is not qualified as a full penetration so if that is the case see it's same weld but you see even i'm doing full penetration it it is written as na that what joint efficiency i'll take If I'm having a type number three joint, I'm doing full radiography. What joint efficiency I'll take? Akash is saying no. No means what? You know, you have to do the calculation, Akash. So you cannot do calculation based on no. You need some value, right? Himanshu is saying 0 0.7. Munendra is saying 0 0.7. Amol is also saying 0 0.7. Everybody is saying 0.7. From where you are getting that 0.7 value? Raj Shekhar is saying 0.6. I don't know from where you are getting that 0.7. Guys, it's this is the table which is applicable. You know, this is the same table which I have taken from UW12. So if I'm doing full radiography, still I won't be able to N A means. Even you do full radiography, it's it's meaningless. It's not meaningful radiography. So what efficiency best I can take is 0.6. I cannot take more than 0.6. It is as good as not doing any radiography. Okay. So even if I am doing radiography in this case, it is a waste. I cannot take efficiency more than 0.6, which is of no radiography okay so only in type number one and type number two you get advantage of doing radiography other than that type three type four type five no advantage it's as good as no radiography making sense i hope it was interesting Great. So now I'll clear and let us go to next joint. Now, what is the limitation? Can I have this joint for all the cases? Can I have this kind of type number three joint for a long scene? Code says not permitted. I cannot have a joint like this for long scene. Okay. I either have will have to have type number one or type number two. I cannot have type number three joint for long sims. For sir sims, if it is greater than 16 mm, not permitted. For less than 16, it is permitting. Okay. Considering that definitely pressure might be low, that is the reason we have less thickness here. So for greater than 16, it's not permitted. Type number three is not permitted. I need to have either type number one or two. Even the size is limited. If I have a size more than 16,600, not permitted. Okay. So lots of restriction for type number three. Great. Now type number four. For type four, can I have this double fillet joint? And if I'm doing radiography, definitely no advantage, right? Because it is as good as no radiography. Radiography will not be meaningful in these cases. Now, any limitation? Can I have lap joint for category A, sir sims, long, long sims? For long sims, can I have? Not permitted. But it is talking about if the thickness is greater than 10. Okay. If it is less than 10, then I can have a lap joint, but definitely I'll not be able to take advantage of 
joint efficiency my joint efficiency will be what will be my joint efficiency anyone if i'm doing radiography fully radiography in this case 0.55 right you can see that great so for sarsim again if thickness is more than 16 mm then it is not permitted okay so those are the limitation for lab now this is plug welded kind of you know joint now so these type of joints generally we never use for pressure vessel but code is saying that we can still use that for normally code says that it is applicable to attachments now, if any attachments we are welding then we can use this but all of these joints like type 5 6 7 joint efficiency will not improve even if i do radiography so radiography becomes meaningless after type number one and type number two there is no meaning of radiography okay again type number six joints you might have seen this is attachment like skirt we weld but this is not the skirt which code is talking about code is talking about pressure parts so when i have either pressure in one of the sides okay in that case we'll have we can have this kind of joint okay now this type number seven which is applicable to the flat head and shell okay so you know that i need to have a fillet weld okay so if i'm having definitely we don't consider joint efficiency because in this when we do calculation of this flat head or shell this joint is not considered right because the stresses in this we are not calculating evenly are we calculating for the long sims and sar sims so you will not get joint efficiency and that is the reason we won't get the stresses in these corners so if you want to find out we'll have to do finite element analysis okay this is also very important to remember if i have a cone welded with a shell cone to shell welding if my angle is more than 30 degree okay if i have less than 30 i don't have any problem i can qualify that as a category b but if my angle is more than 30 degree it is a angle joint an angle joint will not have any efficiency radiography becomes meaningless and that is the reason yes exactly that is the alpha angle akash okay that is the reason always try to maintain the alpha angle half alpha angle less than 30 okay because the joint apart from doing the calculation calculation also if you remember we have to do fea for calculating the thickness 